Okay, this video is to show how to program the biometrics on this Sanctuary Security Vault. I bought this from Costco for about $84. The reviews were very poor, and the reviews were poor because everyone was pretty much complaining about programming the biometrics. I can see why people was having a hard time with programming the biometrics and saying that it wasn't working. And that's because I believe it's because the instructions that's provided with it, that it they made a very good attempt of, of uh, making it clear, but it was very unclear. So I'm going to show you in video form how to do it. They say a picture is a thousand words and a video is a million words. Well, I made that last part up, but I hope this is helpful to some people. First step, I'm going to open it. Um, when you get it, you'll have to open this area here. And then you put the key in here and the manual fail safe override key and then you can open it but I'm gonna skip that step because that's not what's necessary for programming I already programmed um, my right index my right thumb and my left thumb but I did not program my left index so um, well, maybe I did do that one already. Well, I th uh, it looks like I already did my my index and thumb on both hands. What I did not do for sure is um, my middle finger, and I'm going to test that right now. Nope, it's not working. Nope, not working. It's flashing red. Um, like I was saying, I'm going to show you how to program it. So first step is to open the safe. I'm going to open it, one of my biometrics. Oh, I think... Uh, I did it too many times and now it's in um, lockout mode for 30 seconds I believe okay so I have it open now on the first thing you do is you go to this red circle here and you pull out this rubber stopper looks like this you take that out and inside is a hole it's the reset hole and you take a pen or a screwdriver or Phillips something that's pointed I have a pencil right here and I'm just going to push it inside now when you do that you're gonna <clears throat> there's a button that will get depressed and once that button is depressed the light on this biometrics will turn purple it is at that point that you begin to program your biometric scanner. Now, it's supposed to beep every time it registers and it flashes a green light to let you know it's okay. So you do that four times and on the fourth time, it flashes four times. And that's mean, that means it's been programmed. Now I turn off the sound so you won't hear the beep, but just look out for first the purple to letting you know it's in program mode and then look at the green flashes to let you know it has registered all right here you go push the button it's purple now I put my finger that's one two three four there you go so that's one and you want to use different uh, areas of your finger for each programmed um, section. 
So that's the first section. So I'm going to do it again. Push the button right in here. Again, this is the button right here. I'm just going to push that with the pen. It's purple. I go right to it again. I'm going to change the position of my finger this time. One, two, three, four. And it flashes twice. I'm going to do it a third time. Push the button. It's purple. I'm just changing my finger's position. One, two, three, four. And it's recorded. And I'm going to do it just a fourth time. Try to change my finger's position around. One, two, three, four. Now, I think that should be enough. <clears throat> so I'm going to lock it. I can't open it. Now I'm going to use my, the finger that I had programmed and set it right there. And that's it. Voila. It's done. Thank you.